What's happening, Hoodlum Gang? Welcome back to my channel. This your boy, Hoodie from the Hood, aka your friend from that big old N. And I got another video for y'all. But before we get started, I'm gonna need y'all to hit that like, hit that subscribe if you want to. Leave me a comment. Also, if you wanna follow me on IG, then go to IG and follow me, Hoodie from the Hood. I repeat. Hoodie from the hood on IG, man. Follow your boy. But look, I got a quick video for y'all. Um, as y'all can tell from the title, we're gonna go ahead and get into it. Um, Kelpie. Now, if y'all don't know who Kelpie is, Kelpie went viral. Um, I think on Soft White Underbelly, uh, claiming to be a pimp. I think he's 19, white, uh, from Orange County. And that kind of stirred up a lot of stuff. So, Kelpie ended up going on um, No Jumper. And, uh, you know, they wasn't too pleased with him. The two people interviewing him um, claimed to have had a history in that field that Kelpie uh, says that he, you know, operates in. And, and, and that is the, the pimp game. So Sharp and Almighty Suspect interviewed him. And right off top, it got off to a bad start. But I also think that they just wasn't feeling this dude from whatever he said on Soft White Underbelly. I have not watched that interview. Um, I don't really watch that show too much. I have seen a few interviews on there. I've seen Sharp as well as a few other people, but I don't watch it too much. Um, so they already had a bone to pick with this dude. Then he comes in there wearing a mink coat. Uh, I think he had a chain on, can't remember. Um, I, oh, he had got dropped off by his mom. That's another thing, I'll get to that in a second. But uh, yeah, I, it, you know, it just screamed uh, fraudulence to them. So they had a problem, you know? Um, and there's people who take that lifestyle very serious just like people that's in a gang or you know what i mean crip blood whatever the case they they take that type of stuff personal when they feel like you perpetrating and i guess those were the vibes that kelpie was giving off coming in there with that mink coat um people don't really too much wear mink coats anymore that's more of an old school thing from what i've seen i could be corrected um so I think they felt like he was making a mockery of it. That's just like if a nigga saying he a crip. Imagine not even just a white dude because there's solid white dudes. But let's just say some little square white dude or a square kid in general who you know is not about that life. And he pull up and he got on some Stacey Adams or, or, or in, a, in a, a, a blue golf hat or um, whatever, whatever type of throwback uh gang apparel that you would attribute to the founders in the 70s wearing if a if a young dude pulled up wearing that and you already know that he ain't about that life but you pull up to this interview putting the extras on it that is offensive that that's very offensive to people who really live that life and really take it serious and and and, and you know they just they they're they're entrenched in that lifestyle so they was getting at him about that. Um, then he started talking about uh, how his mom dropped him off because he don't got no license. My thing is this, homie. You out here pimping. The last thing you should be worried about is your license because if they, boy, if they get a hold of you, it's not going to be good for you. You know, driving on a suspended license ain't no thing. Furthermore, you shouldn't even be on there talking about no stuff that you're actively doing. I could see had you done it in the past and now you just telling your story. But for you to get on there and you still deep in the game, as you claim, um, that just wasn't smart. You're going to get yourself indicted. So he's sitting here. To, listen, for one, you didn't bring no girls with you. Then you got your mom bringing you. It just looks bad on his behalf. So they was having a field day with him, going in on him. Uh, and, and Almighty actually made a threat towards him during that interview, the first one, but he didn't act on it. Um, 
you could tell he wanted to though. Uh, Sharp even looked like he wanted to, but they held back. Um, so my thing is this, homie. If you if you banging in the streets, homie, and people is questioning your authenticity, what better way than to bring people from your section to speak up for you? So I don't know why this dude didn't bring some of his girls like he did on the, uh, I think the Cam Capone interview. I think he had a little funny looking girl sitting next to him. Should have brought her. They was asking, where's the girls at? Where's the girls at? He said whatever he said, but my thing is that should have been their obligation. You should have made that your priority to make sure your girl was there. But he knows they probably would have started interrogating her and she probably would have made him look bad. So he didn't want her to come. And I think they caught on to that. Um, like I said, man, if you really is about that life, man, you could have had some people from, you know, that lifestyle that congregate with you in, in, in your environment, pull up and vouch for you, homie. You know, it's, it's the easiest thing in the world if you're really about that life. But he didn't do that. He's really just on here claiming by himself. He don't have nobody vouching for him that we have seen yet. I'm ashy. I'm ashy than a mother. Boy, don't matter. I'm finna go into work. But, uh, so I seen a few weeks ago, Kelpie was making a video on, uh, I don't know if it was, I don't know if it was Instagram. It might've been Instagram, but it's on YouTube. Basically where it says he responds to Sharp. And, um, He's on there saying, let's have another interview. And he was throwing little shots at Almighty like he's irrelevant. And like pretty much he's a nobody. And the interview with the dead views with just him and Sharp. Um, he also called Sharp out of his name. Uh, he, he said a few things. So you got to know that they saw that interview. You got to know that they seen him on Cam Capone because this is his 15 minutes of fame. Now... Instead of no jumper being like, oh, all right, man, we're not messing with that dude. We're not going to give him no more publicity. We're going to let this little 15 minutes of fame die out. Uh, I'm guessing, you know, since the last interview did as much views, I think it hit a million views, like within a certain amount of days, you know, because, you know, Sharp is entertaining, man, and Sharp is going big on this dude, and they're just interested in the dude's story. Um, or they just want to see him get screamed on the whole time whatever the case adam being the person that he is and only caring about content and views allowed this dude to come back on the show which was a big mistake um and i'll explain that in a second so now they probably sharp and almighty is probably already upset based on what he said and they want to get at him and uh Kelpie probably was like, man, I'm not going for it this time. Y'all not going to be talking to me like that. And he probably was snapping back at him. I don't know. We will see when the interview come out, if it even comes out. Um, because apparently Almighty uh, spit on dude and I don't know if he slapped him or start whooping his ass, something like that. Um, so, yeah, I mean, he got assaulted. Uh, I, I think. I think the nigga talking about suing. No, I ain't no think he is talking about suing. Um, so, Adam being thirsty for views, bringing that dude back on there when y'all should have killed his 15 minutes of fame, you're going to extend it longer. And the nigga's about to get paid now because even though Almighty did it, bro, that falls on you. That's your show. That's the environment that you created. You are supposed to make sure that any guest that comes up there is comfortable and protected and don't got to worry about getting attacked. Ain't nobody else been attacked on that show before, which is a whole nother conversation on why the first person that gets attacked is this little square nobody. Um, but we don't know what he said. And I'm not going to put that much blame on Almighty Suspect because he did slap in hell. So he do got a little temper uh that video was out if y'all ain't seen that in hell is nate dog son if y'all don't know he did slap that nigga so i mean now you got a lawsuit homie we all know that dude's gonna win that lawsuit so 
what you gonna do? Is you gonna fire almighty suspect? You gonna leave him on there knowing that he might be a liability in the future and he a firecracker? Um, all of this over some views, homie. And on top of that, Kelpie is going to probably make his rounds again on all these big platforms. On platforms that he probably never even been on gonna start calling him. Um, he might end up on Vlad. He might end up on Say Cheese. He might... he. He's going to go back on Cam Capone. He's just going to keep making his rounds now because y'all just gave people extra content to talk about with this dude. Instead of just leaving it where it was the first time, let's bring him back again because the first interview did so well. I don't know what to tell you. You got to see more careful, cuz. You got to see. That's your fault, Adam. Um, Man, <laughs> it's a crazy situation, homie. Out of all the people that didn't came on that show that I feel like should have been slapped or spit on or, or shit, probably not even been invited on the show in the first place. This is the first dude that gets attacked. Like I said, I don't know what he said back. I know he had already called Sharp out of his name, which that should have been on site. Fuck another interview. You said what you said, but I don't know, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think. If y'all up to speed on this, if y'all not, Go watch it and then come holla at me. Leave me a comment, man. But this your boy Hoodie from the Hood, aka your friend from that big old end. Like I said, man, go ahead and like and subscribe to put yourself on to the Hoodlum Gang and go and follow me on IG. I'm about to go clock in. Y'all enjoy the rest of y'all day. Oh, yeah. Go check out my homies, man. Go check out KP2 featuring Bully 3 and Jail Felony. Um, the trued up. I know I said remix. I don't want to say remix because J.O. did a remix back in the day uh, with, I think, Baby Scar from Skyline. Uh, yeah, that was way back then. So that was the official remix. This is more just like the 2022 remake or C-mix or whatever the case is. So go and check that out. That dropped earlier. Uh, that is the video shoot that I was at a couple of days ago. If y'all been paying attention to the channel. Um it's out. So, yeah, man, go support and leave a comment, man. Let the homies know Hoodie sent you. I appreciate it. I'm out.